The St. Louis Aquarium is known for being a hands-on interactive playground for all ages, and this summer they've added to that experience. Now, typically we try to stay away from jellyfish, but my very brave coworker may or may not be going hands first in a tank with moon jellyfish today. Dana, I am a little curious, but Dana's joining us live from the aquarium. Let's see how everything is going on over there. It's a little bit hard for you to call me brave, Malik, but I appreciate the compliment, even though I wrote that for you to say. We are so excited to be here today because we never really get to do the hands-on stuff here at the aquarium. You've seen us here bouncing around every now and then for different events and summer things, but now we get to actually roll up our sleeves and put our hands in this tank here. Now, I'm standing here with Miss Tammy Brown. She's the director of the aquarium here, St. Louis Aquarium. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for being here. Now, you're going to walk me through how to gently stick my hand in here and hopefully nothing bad happens, right? Absolutely. Well, okay. no, nothing <laughs> bad will happen. So what we're going to do is get our fingers a little bit wet okay. first, just in the water without touching anything. And then you're going to put two fingers and you're going to just kind of wait for a jelly to come up and brush by your fingers. So okay. this one looks like it's going to head your direction. Well, this one looks like it stingers up, so. Yeah. Maybe we'll go flip. Uh -oh. Right like that. And you're good to go. Nobody wants me here. Nobody <laughs> wants to. Come on over this way and we'll get you. There you go. Ooh. Yeah. It's like jello. It's right. It's a lot sturdier than you would guess it would be, right? I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Everyone I feel like has at least one very traumatic jellyfish experience. Have you had anything crazy happen? I have not. And Any these, trauma? No, no <laughs> trauma. I just love these guys. So our moon jellies, um, they're tentacles and um, stingers, if you will, they are meant to help them eat. And their food is zooplankton. It's teeny tiny juvenile, like brineshine, basically. Right. And they're so small that what the sting that they need to deliver won't really have an impact on a human. Right. But that's also why we ask you to only touch the bell side. Yes. So really, this can kind of help heal any traumas if you already have That's some. right. Jelly that's fish. right. We can do a little bit of, uh, um, you know, psychological work here, too. That's right. <laughs> really healing. So we have someone here that's going to feed them. Yes. Apparently so this is Jim. Food. He's one of our senior aquarists. And we're going to show what that looks like when they eat. So this, again, is zooplankton, which is these teeny tiny little things. Oh. Um, they, you'll see them absorb that into their stomach. And then those that little flower shape on the mm -hmm. upside, that's their stomach and you will see that turn orange as the zooplankton get ab that is so absorbed cool. up into their stomachs. Whoa. And you said they don't have a brain. They don't they have, have a heart. They have no brain, no heart. They're 95% water weight. These are just really fascinating animals that have been around for 500 million years. They actually predate dinosaurs. What? Yeah. Well, they have a stomach, so they can eat. That's, That's the most right. important That's right. thing. They don't sting you. <laughs> so this exhibit's not quite open yet, so we're getting a little sneak peek today. Exactly. Sneak peek today. It will open tomorrow, and then, but that will only be for viewing. And by Tuesday at the latest, our guests will be invited to touch these animals. That is so cool. Okay, perfect. So Tuesday is when you can come on out and enjoy the show jellyfish here, a bunch of other things around here in this area that you can also go and pet and things like that. Absolutely. This is our most interactive area up here on the second floor. You can interact with uh, stingrays, anemones, sea stars. Um, you can play in the water table. You can feed some turtles. There's just a ton to do. Wonderful. All that info right here on your screen for you. We hope to see you out here. Malik, I know you're going to be first in line at the door waiting to touch these jellyfish, right? I will definitely be first in line. Um, I love how interactive, I keep saying it, I love how interactive the aquarium is there, and uh, I love that they're adding this in there, so I'll be there. Yeah, we'll love to have you. Come on over.